driving Renault's 1.5 litre Clio, which is a five-door car. I think it's a very stylish little car, even though we have had some mixed thoughts about it initially, um, getting used to the new look, but I think, it's, I think it's a good look. I think it's quite a cheeky looking car. Uh, we've got great um, headlights and rear lights, and nice little bumps at the back. The Clio rear drive has got alloy wheels, which really enhances its, its looks. We have been rather sport, we've been driving the Grand Espas, which is very spacious and, and very pleasant to drive. It was a bit of a shock getting into a small Clio. But saying that, I actually really like the Clio. It's very um, light and airy and uh, very nippy and, and actually quite enjoyable to drive. I think most people would find a comfortable uh, way of sitting in this car. The seats are adjustable for height, the steering wheel is adjustable for height and for reach. The only thing I would like is a, an armrest, but maybe that's just asking for a bit much. The Clio is a small car, but I think Renault have made great strides in, in making it feel um, quite sturdy and safe. For instance, um, I, I took it on the motorway for a bit of a spin, and um, it, it felt great. I was fearing that I'd feel I'd been blown all over the place, and being intimidated by the, the larger cars, but it, I, I felt perfectly safe in it. I'm a bit confused about what to say about the quality of this car inside. The dash I like very much, it's nice quality plastic, it's got a squidgy feel which is good and where the CD player and the radio is, is rather smart. But the feel of the seats, the material, is just rather cheap. I like the look and feel of the controls, they're very tactile, it's very easy to use, very easy to adjust the climate control whilst you're driving along. And the remote controls for the uh, radio and CD player are, are right here and very easy to use. What was quite puzzling that all three of us find it quite a difficult car to drive and we couldn't quite put a finger on why. We came to the conclusion it's because all the controls are rather vague. The clutch, um, the accelerator, the brake, even the steering wheel just, just felt vague and disconnected. We have all got used to it, but it's taken us about a week to feel we can actually drive it smoothly. We've all found it quite difficult to drive smoothly at, at low speeds when you're in traffic and have a tendency to bunny hop along. I like the idea of a starter button. Um, but you press it and then nothing happens and you wonder whether the engine is going to come on or not. Unlike the Civic um, Type S, which you press and it purred into action immediately. For a small car, there's, there's a fair amount of storage. Uh, you've got a couple of cup holders, um, good space in the doors and a, a very good sized glove compartment. And the size of the boot is, is fine. With a diesel engine, doing lots of mixed driving, motorway and a lot of city driving, we've got about 40 miles to the gallon, so I think it's actually very good.